Hey guys, Nala here. Tonight I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to be taking on the Benton Mackay Trail as far as gear. So I will turn the camera around and show you everything. Okay, so I'm not going to go and uh, give you like grams and weights. I'm just showing you a little bit of what I'm taking. So I'm going to be using my old Hyper Mountain Light gear. Uh, this is the 2400 Wind Rider. And on the outside I keep, a, keep my spoon and my pack towel. And P rag, smart water bottles, one liter and one small one. This is a hyper light shoulder pouch. Keep my phone and my hand sanitizer in that. Uh, I'll probably do a more in depth uh, review on this shoulder pouch. This is one I made. Um, I really don't like these waterproof zippers, so my design is roll top, and I'll show you a little bit more of that, but I keep my spot and pepper spray in there, and that's pretty much what I keep on the outside of that. Okay, so I'm taking my Mountain Hardware Puffy, and this may be overkill but I'm not sure what to expect as far as weather at this time of year but I'm taking it just to be safe my Patagonia R1 hoodie uh, Montbell wind pants uh, masks because of COVID regulations in towns and things like that I'll be taking reading glasses which will go into one shoulder pouch uh, flow nays because I found out I have allergies and that helps me breathe a little better. Uh, and all this stuff goes in this stuff sack here. Some assorted pain medicines, a uh, battery for my headlamp, some KT tape, nail clippers, a uh, two port block with cords for my spot, my phone. And my power bank, which I'm taking the 1300, it's heavy. Diarrheal medicine, some super glue in case of deep cuts, batteries for the spot, extra water cap, and ring for the water filter, extra lighter, toothbrush. I am going to carry a just this part of the razor. I can use it in town. Some Cuban fiber tape for my uh, tent and bag. z pack sewing kit. And these are for, like if you get a hole in your puffy, you can just stick them on. Some tenacious tape. And bug spray. That's the poo kit with a Norwex rag you don't need soap or anything for cleaning up so I'm leaving the baby wipes at home I'm trying to save a little weight there uh, under armor visor to go with the bug net Z seat a uh, brace for my left knee I've been getting some twinges and I just want to keep that safe um, umbrella I'm going to try that this time too so we'll see okay my guidebook for scooping water and a Sawyer squeeze and ever new two liter bag um, then I have the snow peak pot which I carried on AT this time I'm taking a lighter rain jacket my OR but I'm taking uh, some pretty heavy rain pants from North Face because there may be some brushy areas and that'll save my legs a little. Uh, I up upgraded to this Sea the Summit. It's a heavier pillow, but I haven't been doing too good on 
keeping those. They end up popping like the ultralight ones. So we're going to try this with the Sea the Summit. And I have a new air mattress from XPED. This is the Hyperlite. And I have to believe that one is actually lighter than Neo Air. Yeah, that's it. Um, that's not the duplex. Flex mids save a little weight and the stakes. And this is just camp clothes, a pair of Nike shorts, outdoor re research top, sleep socks, and an X pair of hiking socks. And my 50 degree Enigma and Lightning Equipment quilt. And then this is the pump sack for the X-Ped mattress. And it's pretty big and it's waterproof. So I'm using that for the pack liner. And another piece that I will be showcasing on trail is my new design of food bag. Flat bottom. And two carabiners to hang it so it's not putting a lot of stress on that buckle uh, even though I put a much more sturdier buckle on my bag and my logo <clears throat> and that's what I will be taking on the Benton Mackay Trail so thank you guys for watching and subscribing and for all your comments I appreciate it so much so y'all have a good night later